Hi folks, this is Klaus at Top Hydraulics. We'll show you today how to uh, replace the hydraulic pump in an SLK R170 chassis convertible. I've made myself comfortable in the trunk already. I'm holding in my hands here um, already rebuilt and upgraded pump from Top Hydraulics filled with a proper fluid which is the Mercedes 00098991103 or Febby 02615 fill to the proper level we ship the fluid uh, the pump filled with fluid and we plug it at the ports either with these plastic plugs or with uh, yellow silicone plugs and um, it ships with the pressure relief valve closed and marked where the closed position is for future use because you will eventually open this again to move the trunk very likely anyway um we have already removed the uh, trim panels in the trunk we've shown that previously in our video on replacing the hydraulic cylinders if you need a refresher uh, feel free to watch that one and i will show you now uh, how to swap this pump by the way we swap we uh, ship this pump without the sheet metal mounting frame which makes it very bulky and awkward and expensive to ship it's easy to swap this pump back into your frame the pump is way better than a brand new one inside we're certain about that we have replaced and upgraded all graded all the seals in here including the oil seal to the motor that take is able to take a lot more pressure will last longer than the original one um, tolerances on and all the pistons in the rotary assembly are perfect and uh, the uh, solenoid valves have been gone through and checked and this pump is uh, certain to ship performing better than a new one. We ship it um, putting out more power than the original uh, Mercedes uh, pump that you would be buying from the dealer, part number 170-800-0030, which is actually officially part number 170-800-0184. I'm sorry, 0148. Anyway, let's get to work here. We don't need many tools. We need a T30 uh, wrench to um, get the four bolts off the bracket. We've lo already loosened the those four bolts for the bracket that's above the pump. So I only have to unscrew them now. Put, them, put the bolts in the safe place behind me. The uh, holder for this um, a release cable you pinch on the bottom and uh, you can work it out well the pinching didn't work just with my fingernails you need to put a tool on it so one tool to have in the trunk while I'm sitting here would have been a pair of pliers but this worked just fine so that bracket is out of the way Next, we take the uh, blue plate off these uh, hose retaining discs to have it out of the way already. Uh, next, we can twist and pull out this connector. You see how it mounts in this frame. Simply twist it counterclockwise, you can pull it out. Same thing with this connector over here turn it counterclockwise and you can pull it out next remove these two 10 millimeter hex head uh, nuts we have loosened them already so i can simply unscrew them once these two nuts have been removed we can simply pull the whole pump up i'll put a paper towel on my lap here and um, we will next remove the uh, frame from the pump for that we just need a um, four millimeter allen wrench or t24 torx will do the trick too these bolts can be fairly tight so you may need some leverage but we've loosened them already so we'll take these four bolts out oops don't wrap them out and uh, disconnect the wiring harness from the frame there is a simple trick up here that is push in this tab on the relay mount so that I can pull the relay 
of the mounting frame. Oops. Yep, there it is. I needed to push the tab in. The frame is off. Now we are down to taking the hoses off. And we may as well, while we're taking the old hoses off, put them in the same position on the new pump. We pull our plastic plugs. We've turned the retaining disc. See how easy they turn. They click into place. Click, closed, click, open. And we just uh, pull these hoses out piece by piece. Here's number 44, goes into spot 44. Here's number 20, goes into 20. And number 42 goes into spot 42. And number 21 goes into spot 21 and so on and so forth. Now the I'll show you only the first disc here. Don't want to waste your time watching me uh, taking every single hose out and putting it back in. I just need to push these fittings in all the way. Top Hydraulics put some first class uh, seals into these ports, port seals, which uh, seal the hose against the pump and you have to push in a little bit harder to get these in. I will put this pump down. And, um, we so we keep replacing these hoses piece by piece. Um, take the old one out of the old pump, put it onto the new one. Um, while we put it onto the new one, um, take the plug out of the new one, put it into the old one. That's a good habit so you don't start having an oily mess here from leftovers uh, bubbling out of the pump. It is easy to uh, recognize the hoses, they're all marked. Look at this one for example, this says printed upside down uh, 41 on it, 41. And this is hose number 41, goes to the um, shaft end of the right main lift cylinder. Anyway, this 41 is also printed on this uh, retaining disc with an arrow pointing at the hole that this hose 41 uh, goes into. So don't get uh, frustrated if you've taken out several hoses at the same time and you don't recall where they go. Just uh, look very closely at the numbers on the hose and on the discs. So anyway, we keep going and uh, keep replacing these uh, hoses until the new pump is fully hooked up. And um, then we just mount it again to the uh, sheet metal uh, mounting frame and we plug the wires back in, put everything back into place, put the bracket on here, and we have a working system again with a freshly rebuilt, better than new pump in here that should last you a few more decades if the car lasts that long. Um, hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, please do let us know. To refill the pump on an SLK, you want to use the proper fluid. Hydraulic fluid ZHM, which is Mercedes part number 00098991103 or Febby 02615. These are by far the preferred fluids for the system. They are approved by Mercedes. If you use something else, you may uh, jeopardize the system or at least you get some very smelly fluid. Imagine you had um, leaking cylinders somewhere and they would smell up your car. That would be no good. So use the Mercedes fluid or the uh, Febby. It's not expensive to get. It's best demonstrated how to fill the pump by taking the trim off. We'll even take this um, mounting bracket off on top of the pump just because it's easier to show you how the refill is done on the pump. You can refill the pump through the trim panel if you have a syringe with a little hose on it. Um, the point is actually you need to refill the pump through the fill plug which is in the forward right corner on top of this aluminum pump block. It takes a four millimeter Allen wrench to uh, unscrew this bolt and uh, this fill plug can be on pretty tight. So um, you may need some uh, good 
fitting Allen wrench uh, to get this bolt loose. You want to make sure you use a four millimeter bolt. Don't use an imperial size because you will strip the um, hex um, bolt, the, uh, the hex machining in here. Uh, be sure not to use the not to lose the copper crush ring under the um, fill plug. So put the fill plug aside, and now you can um, simply fill the pump with a syringe or a turkey baster or whatever you have available slowly through this hole. You want to uh, watch the fluid level. This pump is actually slightly overfilled. If you don't have any leaks in your system and if all the cylinders are full of fluid already, then you don't want to have the fluid up this high because it creates too much back pressure inside the pump. It's actually okay on a top hydraulics rebuild pump, but the original ones would have a problem if your top was up, the fluid level was up this high with all the cylinders full of fluid already. So normally with the top up, if the cylinders and hoses were all full of fluid, uh, you don't have to be higher than the minimum level on the pump. So all you need to do is, is um, slowly squeeze the fluid out of your syringe and watch the fluid level. Easy as that. Uh, this uh, two ounce syringe is comes in really handy. You can just stick it into the um, bottle of fluid and uh, fill it up and uh, later on um, dispense that into the pump. Hope this helps.